Something you probably don't know about me is I love to ask the question why. Not to be difficult, not to put people down, but because honestly, I'm genuinely curious. Always have been. I think I've probably been asking the question why since I was like three years old. You probably asked my mom or dad. I guarantee you they would substantiate that in an instant. I know my mom has talked about many instances would be in the car even when I was very little. And I would literally talk her ear off. And, well, let's be honest. I like to talk. What can I say? It's just who I am. But in that, I've always also been searching for answers. I like to know why things are a certain way. Why we should do something this way. Why aren't we doing that? And that question, that curiosity, has not gotten any better as I've gotten older. In fact, actually, it's probably gotten worse. I tend to ask the question why when it comes to everything. I'll ask it in depositions at work. Um, clients will always be looking at me and I'll be like, well, why? And, you know, you can always see by their expression that it's an uncomfortable question. I'll ask it at work if we're doing something a certain way, and I'll ask, why? Why do we do it that way? Not to be difficult and not to know anyone, only because I want to understand. And even in the gym today, we had a certain movement, and I just asked why. Not because I was questioning the programming. No, I love it, actually. But I was just curious how they came to that decision for that movement opposed to another one, how certain things work. It's something that I've always been interested in, and I understand not everyone wants to know every answer to every question, and that's perfectly fine. But if you're anything like me, or if you're wondering why something is a certain way, maybe it's better to ask. Some of life's most difficult and biggest questions are the question why. Why am I here? Why do I want to do that? Why not? These are all big life questions. Philosophers have been answering those questions for probably five millennia, if not more. And they'll probably do it for another five millennia or more. There's no one answer. And that's really the magic. It's one of the few things that I think I took out of law school that's sat with me more than anything. And it's that there's many, many, many ways to answer that question of why. And no one is necessarily more right or wrong except if it's right or wrong for you. I know for me, for instance, I like to know why. That's probably why I read certain books. That's why I'm constantly reading varied topics. I want to understand something. I was asking my friend the other day, why is our goal the inflation rate of 2%? Why two? Why not three? Why not one? Why not five? I don't, I don't know, and it's not to be difficult, but why? Who came up with that? Who does it benefit? Who doesn't it? It was just a question I came up with because, honestly, I didn't know. You know, how does the banking system entirely work? I don't really know. I may ask why, and, you know, somebody may point in the direction of a book or a video or something, and then it's your job to continue learning. And that's the funny thing that I realized this week, is that we can stop going to formal school at some point, but you never stop learning you can never really stop asking the question why. You just have to find what is important enough for you to ask why. Maybe it's, why do I do that? Why does my kid do that? Why don't I do that? Why do I find that so irritating? Maybe it's something inside you that you do. I don't know. I know for me, I like the question why because it makes me go inside. Something that I usually don't do because I'm talking so much. So sit back. And sometimes if you don't know something, it's okay to say, why is that? You don't have to say it in a mean way. You know, there's a difference between saying, why is it like that? I'm just curious, opposed to why. The second one is going to get you some looks and probably a stern talking to maybe in certain situations. The first one, 99 times out of 100, I bet you're probably going to get an answer or you might get an answer back. I don't know. And then maybe you'll have to find out together. But generally, if you don't know an answer, ask why. What's the worst that can happen? They say no. Well, you're in the same spot you were before, but at least you asked the question. Have a good one.